National Cohesion and Integration Commission says it is moving to have MPs uh, Simba Arati and Silvana Sosoro face criminal charges for the violent acts they engaged in at the funeral service of the Kisi deputy governor's father on Monday. The commission has also told NTV that it is working with the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution to have nominated Senator Isaac Moura face criminal charges for inciting violence against ODM party leader Raila Odinga. Olive Burrows with the latest developments. It may have appeared comical, but the intolerance demonstrated by the Dagoreti North Member of Parliament, Simba Arati, and the South Mugirango Member of Parliament, Silvana Sosoro, on Monday is no laughing matter. What happened yesterday was actually a criminal offence um, under the penal code, which is called uh, ARE. These uh, two MPs should be prosecuted, and so we will ensure as NCIC that uh, through the DCI, these people are taken to court to answer to the charges uh, of um, ARE and uh, indecency. <laughs> Monday's events were only the latest manifestation of a growing political intolerance. Coming just days after similar scenes were witnessed at a funeral in Bungoma, the wrangles for control of the Ford Kenya party getting out of control. And with Simeon Nyachai's burial looming in the horizon, the Abagusi Council of Elders are keen to make clear that political intolerance at funerals will no longer be tolerated. First and foremost, let us understand what a funeral ceremony is to the affected or believed family. But the problem isn't so much the forum, but what it bodes for the future. Kenya will be in an electioneering mode from now up to 2022. And if leaders have started to behave badly today, what about the 2022? Rocks having only recently been aimed at Rilo Odinga and William Ruto on the campaign trail in Nairobi. That is the essence of democracy. That I may not agree with what you have to say, but I shall defend unto death your right to say. Mimi na wauliza, luga yetu, tuwache kiburi na tuwache matusi. And though those in whose names punches, kicks and rocks are thrown publicly distance themselves from the actions taken in their names. Ulienda bama, akashika we kichwa, tukanyamaza. Ukaenda kidurai, akashika weka we kifua, tukanyamaza. Umeenda kisi, akashika tumbo, tukanyamaza. Your Excellency, the next place you go, asijaribu kuteremuka chindi. We've seen that some people want to start joking with you. And we are the only non-gazetted barracks in Kenya. Ask Kuria. We will not entertain. Your Excellency, give us itinerary wherever you go. We can deal with others. Thank you so much. Yeah. Honorable Isaac Mwaura will be prosecuted uh, because number one, he incited people to violence and number two, that was his speech. The National Cohesion and Integration Commission and the police, having been taken to task by the Orange Democratic Movement in Mora's case for their failure to arrest such situations swiftly. They have uh, various challenges that we are facing. Number one is the ruling of the High Court that um, termed the, the incitement to violence charges as uh, unconstitutional. But for all the legislation that could be enacted, the question remains, when will Kenyans have had enough of the perennial election violence? Olive Burrows, NTV.